Arduino audio input by Amanda Gasset um, at Instructables um, and more particularly uh, starting here with the non-inverting amplifier. Uh, I've got my guitar jack here uh, which I've got to the reference ground at two and a half volts. Uh, the reference voltage is shunted into uh, here um, by these two resistors which divide the it's, it's, this board is, seems to be generating just over four volts so uh, that is that part of the circuit here so non-inverting amplifier I've got this uh, here which is uh, TS9 T22 1N, um, which has got the same basically pin layout as uh, this one detailed down here. Put here on this side VCC plus an 8, output to 2 inverting, uh, 2 non inverting, VCC minus at 4. So it's just the same basic pin layout which meant then that I could just follow this part of the instructable and I'll just walk you through on the board what, what is where. Right, so <clears throat> first set of the circuit, increase amplitude uh, from the input to plus or minus two and a half volts ideally. Um, my thing isn't that so. Uh, right, so I followed this here um, Right, wire up your positive pin to the um, pin 8. So here's my positive here. Wired up to pin 8 down here um, and your negative pin to pin 4 of the op amp so my negative pin is this one here and that's pin 8 there just to check on the uh, thing here uh, right uh, negative is here, positive is here, so that's right there are opposite corners, um, yep that's right, so then the next thing then is, uh, well the signal from the mono jack to the non-inverting input pin 3, so the signal from the jack to non-inverting Inverting pin three, and that's this one here. Um, I suppose I should really be pointing at this with a pen if you need to see that. That's uh, our signal pin into this pin here. Uh, then connect the ground pin of the jack to the zero reference. Now, zero reference is this reference over here, which is the uh, what happens at this junction here. Um, and I've taken the A ref from the board over to there. Um, I'm not sure about that because uh, Amanda says she's got two batteries in the junction between those two batteries. That all the power I'm using is coming off the board on the USB. So uh, I took the A ref reference, which Carl McDonald references in his uh, lo fi pedal thing. Um, but I'm still wanting to have a think about it. But let's follow this circuit. Um, Right, um, wire a 100k ohm resistor between the output pin 1 and the inverting pin 2, or the potentiometer. Well, we've got the potentiometer here, so this is the output pin 1 here, and the inverting pin 2. So that's, I've wired up the potentiometer, and then the grounded potentiometer uh, 
I've taken to the reference voltage, so ground, uh, net, so that's that. So, so the DCL offset uh, offsets the output from the amplifier, so that, that's the output of this amplifier here. Causes the audio signal to oscillate around two and a half volts, so it stays with an acceptable range for the Arduino's 0 to 5 volts. Uh, two main components the voltage divider and capacitor. <coughs> this is my voltage divider, these two resistors here. Um, they're wired in series and um, from the uh, five volt ground, so um, there we are. That's that's this one here, um, the ground here, and the five volts are on these rails here, and this one here is completely separate. The, the, this is uh, actually taking its reference from uh, here. Uh, so, so this part of the board isn't connected to this part of the board. Um, right. Uh, so, uh, this terminal junction is tied to the amplifier via a 10 um, UF capacitor. That's this one here. As the voltage on the amplifier side of the capacitor rises and falls, it causes a charge to amplitude accumulate. That's this one here, and then that's the one going to ground. Okay. Uh, load the following code onto your Arduino, simple audio in, which I, and that's where I part company with this uh, tutorial and then go over to this one. Uh, the pulse weighted modulation um, tutorial. Now I've just posted in the uh, Arduino forum. Uh, where I found this, uh, just, uh, yeah, I found this I, I, on pulse weighted um, modulation. Uh, I read an article last night which was very good um, by Jerome. This is by Scott Daniels, and uh, so I read this pulse weighted um, modulation um, thing. Uh, which in turn led me to eventually uh, this this post here um, which has the sketch which I then uploaded to um, uh, my Arduino board here which deals with this part of the circuit or was Amanda's sketch which I uploaded and then this is the uh, one from uh, open music labs. Right, okay, well, I'm just, I've got more reading to do on all of this, that's for sure. Which we'll just go through now. Uh, so, we've seen what happens with the incoming signal, and that goes into this amplifier here, etc., which is controlled by this pot here. And, and then that sends that out then into analog zero. Um, my plan then is to do processing with that in P pure data. Um, and then um, this next part of the talk, talk tutorial uh, takes that out of the PWM ports 9 and 10 which go through um, 
this little process here then, these two capacitors here, that's supposed to be my 390k. Now this is the ratio that Carl McDonald has in his lo-fi thing. I noticed that the ratio is much bigger in, in, in this, uh, this here we are, minimalist Arduino DSP, right. So here, these two resistors, you've got 3.9K and one mega ohm. I haven't got one mega ohm resistor. Um, so I use the uh, normalize the input and output. So this is the bit here. So audio input, one kilo, 2.2, Farad, 10 kilo output. Followed this this one here. The Arduino output is a bit of bass in the suit, so I uh, kept the weight pin approach. Um, outputting 10 bit. Uh, this one we're doing here is outputting 8 bits at the moment. I think. Uh, right, so this is the circuit I followed here. Uh, that's a rotary switch in this circuit, which which I haven't actually got here. But this is the this is the bit we're interested in here. We've got the one and a half kilo ohms and three hundred and ninety kilo ohms, um, which is what I used. And you'll see that this one here has got a one mega ohm and three point nine kilo ohms. I'm assuming that's a similar sort of ratio or whatever. But but um, uh, you'll hear now in a minute when I turn. Anyway, let's just walk you through this this one here. Um, so the into the ADC, that's all this bit. So this bit here, um, following Amanda's circuit, and then uh, I followed the other circuit, but added in uh, the other couple of bits on here, um, namely this resistor here between this uh, ten. UF uh, capacitor, so um, that's basically on the uh, inverting out and uh, in. So anyway, the pulse weight weighted modulated signal comes out here um, into this thing here, and I've been messing around with my ground actually. Um, what are we doing? Uh, yeah, I've got it on this reference here on the 5 and 0. Anyway, I'm just going to turn this on and, and you'll hear it makes a bit of a racket, but, but um, I'm going to plug this amp here. You can hear there's a lot of static. But that is a guitar signal generated by the Arduino. Um, and that's as far as I've got. Uh, and I'm still getting my thoughts straight. The, the pots work as well. Um, this one is very, very noisy when it's turned down. Um, this one isn't so noisy. Um, and I just need to do some more reading now into uh, this AREF um, voltage here, uh, which this one is uh, getting its ground reference from, and then I need to figure out whether this one should be taking its reference from that ground reference or from the, the main voltage reference. Uh, but that's, that's as far as I've got. Um, and then also, uh, on Kyle's circuit, he used pins 3 and 11, and all this one was using 9 10. Um, and I think there's something to do with the, uh, the clock and the sampling rate um, that the different pins um, give, you, give you access to. But for now, I'm, you know, uh, well, this, is, this is as far as I've got, and uh, I'm... Believe it or not, I'm actually quite pleased with the program.